Hello, thank you for joining us on this edition of Heartland Hangover. Uh, my name is David Ford, the corporate chef for Heartland Reps in Kansas City. And today, well first, Happy New Year. Uh, happy 2023, everyone. Today we're gonna make Hop and John, a classic uh, South Carolina low country dish. Uh, this is my version, of course. Um, but we have to have the black eyed peas. Brings good luck for the new year. It's an old tradition. We don't really know where it started, um, but we're gonna make some Hop and John. Uh, we have Big Red, our trusty cast iron back there. And next to it, I have an old ham bone uh, left over from Christmas that I'm just sort of simmering in some chicken stock. Really gonna fortify the pork flavor. Um, Salt pork, we're gonna cook that down. Some andouille sausage and our vegetables. Classically, you use the, tr the Trinity celery, onion, pepper. I add a little bit of carrot. Again, it's my version. Uh, I like a little sweetness um, and a whole lot of garlic. So with that being said, it's ringing this new year right and I'll see you over here and we'll start cooking. Thanks for joining me. All right, welcome back. Salt pork starting to render it down. We're going to add some andouille. And we're just going to render this down, brown up the sausage a little bit, give it about three minutes. Using a slotted spoon, taking out the pork. So we want to leave all the fat. So up next, All these beautiful aromatics go in. We're gonna cook this down for about three more minutes. Three to five minutes, just depending on what we need. We wanna get it nice and soft. We're using canned beans today, so which speeds up the process, but you need to, you won't have that time for the slow braise. Um, so you really want to make sure the vegetables are good and toasted. Good starting to get some nice caramelized, very soft. And then in a few minutes we'll add the beans. All right, so a few minutes later, see we're getting nice, soft. We're gonna add the pork back. Make sure you get all those juice. Um, our ham stock. This is just the chicken broth that we simmered the uh, leftover ham shank in. Add that in. So good already. Let's turn this down. Let that just settle down for a second. Then we're going to add our black eyed peas. This is just sort of a David addition. Uh, some black kale, just roughly chiffonade. We're going to add that in. Same time as the peas, because the peas are already cooked, we're using canned. So this just needs a few minutes to wilt, to heat up. I always do a touch of vinegar. A little acid always sort of lightens everything up. Cuts through a little bit of that pork fat. Just a touch, maybe three tablespoons. Put a lid on it, come back in 20 minutes. All right. So it's been about 20 minutes. We made some rice. Uh, we're using jasmine rice today. Traditionally, I would love to have some Carolina gold rice. Uh, it's fantastic, but we don't have that. So we're gonna do just some regular jasmine. Let's check this guy. Oh, it smells so good. So we added the kale, added all the pork back, the ham shank that I had the broth simmering in. Uh, Cooled that down, chopped up all the meat. That's back in there. 
There's no shortage of pork and flavor in this. Just see, reduce the liquid down. You want it just starting to thicken. Um, man, this is gonna be good. Seems like the right size bowl for this. So we'll add our rice. Get all that good juice. There's so much good ham flavor in that. Some fresh scallions on top. Good way to bring in the new year. So hot, it's so good. A lot of pork, a lot of vegetables. The different pork textures, the different vegetable textures. The Slappy Mama seasoning just gives it a little bit of heat. We definitely need some more hot sauce on there and a cold beer. So from all of us at Harlan Reps, uh, Happy New Year. Hope 2023 is a fantastic year for you. Uh, make some Hoppin' Johns, Black Eyed Peas, bring the new year right. Thanks for joining me. See you next week.